follow me on this true story that took place in the middle of my comedy career where my humor being came to the rescue and turned a totally stressful situation totally around into the ultimate success story just because of my ability to allow myself to laugh. Follow me on this. I was in New York City. That sets it up right there. <laughs> Anybody here from New York? New York? Where in New York are you from? New York City. You know Tony? <laughs> He's like, you moron, I am Tony. <laughs> so I was in New York City. I had a rental car that kept breaking down. 98 degrees, air conditioning isn't working, sweats, pouring over my entire body. The car keeps stalling out and starting again. But to make it even worse, it seemed like every New Yorker in the world was beeping their horns and cursing at me. That is not a secure feeling at all. And I'm already 20 minutes late for a very important audition. And I'm feeling this massive snowball of negativity building up and I'm like, oh man, what else could possibly happen? Don't ever ask that question. <laughs> See, because if you do, the universe will answer you, and it did. I drive up to the toll booth, and I went to pay the guy, and I realized I left my wallet at the rental place. I don't know what possessed me. I looked at the guy, and I said, I'll have a couple of burgers, two fries, and get something for yourself there, Sparky. <laughs> this guy looks at me with the biggest grin on his face and with the biggest New York attitude and says, hey, you want me to supersize those fries there, tough guy? <laughs> So we both started laughing, but the cars in back of me, they're not laughing at all. I mean, they're going, come on, what, let's get going. We got to get moving. What's going on over there? My newfound friend in the tow booth, this guy was crazy. He sticks his head out of the booth, motions to all of the other cars and says, hey, calm down. We ran out of food. Try the next booth. Try the next booth. <laughs> By then, we were laughing really hard. We high-fived each other. You want, you want to know what the coolest thing was? He let me go without pain. He looked at me and he said, hey, Looks like you're having a tough time here, pal. Don't worry about it. I got you covered. This toll is on me. And get out of here and have a good day. And by the way, thank you. I looked at him and said, why are you thanking me? He goes, you need to understand. I'm pretty new in this area. This is only my second day on this stupid job. And believe me, when I tell you I really needed to laugh today. And I looked at him and I went, so did I. <laughs> Folks, here's my point. And a very important point. I drove away from that toll booth in a totally different state of mind totally different state of mind. As a result, I was able to plant positive thoughts in my head, constructive ways on how I can deal with this very important audition that I had coming up, and guess what? I had a great audition. I kicked butt. It's a good thing I did. Led to the most important break of my comedy career. That's how I got my first TV special, my Showtime special. That special paved the way for every other TV special that I was ever on. Now let me ask you this question. What do you think would have happened if I would have gone into that audition in the mood that I was in before the toll booth incident? I wouldn't have had a chance. Not in the mood that I was in. And I tried everything in my power to turn it around. And I realized years later, when I looked back, I said, what was it that helped me to turn this around? And I realized it's only when I started laughing. Why is that? Here's the psychology behind this. When you allow yourself to laugh in the midst of a very stressful situation like that, your brain is no longer focusing on that stressful situation. It can't, your brain can only focus on one thing at a time. Right now your brain is laughing at something ridiculous or absurd that just happened. And even if your brain does go back to that stressful situation, it won't be as overwhelming as it was before. Why? Because you've calmed your nervous system down to the point where you are in somewhat control of this situation rather than having the situation control you. At that moment in my life, my humor being came to the rescue, and in a matter of seconds, not minutes, seconds, there was a major shift in my attitude. 